Hey guys, it's Alyssa from AlyssaNalani.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be scripture journaling through the sixth stanza in Psalm 119 for our series in Club 119. Now if you're on this video and this is your first time hearing of Club 119, then I invite you to go ahead and check out the description box where you will find a link to the welcome video for Club 119, what it's all about, and how you can get started. You'll also find a playlist of the past five videos in this series and you can watch those and catch up on what we've been doing. So I'm just prepping my pages as I normally do before I start journaling. And I have to say that my sketchbook is starting to get real fluffy because I have all these extra papers and things pasted um, in my scrapbook and so, or sketchbook rather. And so it's starting to get fluffy. It's starting to get a little harder to close. And I only have six spreads in here so far. So we'll see how it works in the long run. I don't know if in the long run, I will always be crafting. Um, definitely I'm having a lot of fun um, crafting through this psalm, but um, as we move forward and do another series, I'm not sure I'll be crafting because it does take time and, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how it goes in the long run, but I am having fun with it now. But my, my sketchbook is getting quite fluffy and hard to shut, so I am kind of sandwiching it between my desk and some heavy books to hopefully kind of reinforce um, I don't know what you would call it, the closing mechanism, <laughs> just kind of smushing it down so that it um, closes better. So we'll see. That's what happens when you put extra paper in a book that wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. All right, this time I've decided to do something a little bit different, and that is tipping in a journaling card. And if you don't know what tipping in is, it is when you take a card or a piece of paper, or even a photo, and you tape it in like this so that it can fold back and forth or flip back and forth, and that's called a tip-in. Just in case you've heard that term before and maybe didn't know what it meant, um, that's called a tip-in. And so it's really easy. It's something that you can do just to add a little bit more depth to your spread, and it's a lot of fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and read our verses for today, and like I said before, we are in the sixth stanza of the psalm, and that covers verses 41 to 48. And I am both reading and writing from the New King James Version. Let your mercies come also to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your word. So shall I have an answer for him who reproaches me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in your ordinances. So shall I keep your law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in your commandments, which I love. My hands also I will lift up to your commandments, which I love and I will meditate on your statutes. All right, now for today's discussion question. And like I always say, you can leave the answer to the question in the comments below here on YouTube. 
um, in the discussion thread if you're on the Facebook group. And I also encourage you to write your answer down in your journal if you, if you would like. <laughs> God gave us his word and law for our protection in a sinful world, as well as the best chance that we have at an abundant life here on earth. The question is, has there ever been a situation when you doubted that his way was best for you? And if so, how did he prove himself faithful? So this video is video number six, which puts us at the end of our third week in the series. And I just want to reiterate, as I always do at the end of these videos, how thankful I am that you are part of this community. And I just continue to hope and pray that this is something that has been um, a blessing to you and an encouragement to you as you are writing the word and that it is um, bringing you closer to Jesus and it is helping you in your walk with him. If you like what you saw in this video and you're interested in joining Club 119, then I invite you to check out the description box and watch that Welcome to Club 119 video. If you're watching this at any time between July and about mid-September of 2019, then it is not too late for you to join in real time and you can journal with us in Psalm 119. If you're watching this anytime after the summer of 2019, don't worry, you can still join the club. I do plan on keeping this going as long as I can. So there will be a series of some kind going on at any time that you watch this video. So check out the description for all the information and you can get started in the club. That is it for now. I will talk to you all next week in the next video where we will be going through the seventh stanza in this Psalm. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.